When humans and animals start to move forward, their brains adapt their activity to the upcoming motion. Our memory systems in the hippocampus and related structures enter a specialized state. It is specialized for the processing of environmental information. With the help of this information, we can form a spatial map and retrieve spatially related memories during our movement through space. The first objective of our project was to find out which neural circuits underlie the activity state transition of the hippocampus during locomotion. The second objective was to understand how these circuits are used during movement at different speeds. There was already strong evidence from experiments in mice that a small region in the basal forebrain, the medial septal nucleus and the diogenal band of Broca has a locomotion related function. It is a key regulator of hippocampal theta oscillations. In the brain oscillations can be observed at many time scales and resemble a rhythmic activation of neurons. When an animal moves at higher speeds, these rhythms increase in frequency comparable to a speedometer that reports the motion speed to other brain regions. Out of the several cell types of the medial septum that were known, we selected a glutamatergic cell population. These cells express the vesicular glutamate transporter too. They were known to excite the area, but their function during behavior was not understood. In the first set of experiments, we wanted to find out whether medial septal glutamatergic neurons are active when the animal is moving. With the genetically encoded calcium indicator GCAM5, we could monitor the activity of these neurons deep in the brain of awake mice. The fluorescence of this indicator provides a reliable measure of neuronal activity. The activity-dependent change in fluorescence was detected via an implanted optical fiber. We observed that these neurons are not only active during locomotion, but increase their firing already several hundred milliseconds before the onset of locomotion. They predict what the animal is going to do. We then investigated if the activity of medial septal glutamatergic neurons contributes to the initiation of locomotion. Therefore, we first had to gain control over their activity. By expressing channel rhodopsin 2, an ion channel protein from algae that can be activated with blue light, we could specifically initiate the firing of action potentials in glutamatergic neurons. Very reliably, with every stimulation of glutamatergic neurons, the animal started to move forward. But the glutamatergic neurons not only determined whether the animal moved or not, they also controlled the speed at which the animal moved. With higher activation rates, we observed faster running. How do the brain's memory systems, like the hippocampus, change their activity when the glutamatergic neurons are active? To address this question, we recorded hippocampal extracellular activity. We found that glutamatergic neurons entrained hippocampal theta oscillations which started before the onset of movement. The theta oscillations matched the firing rate of medial septal neurons and correlated with the locomotion speed of the animals. Glutamatergic cells of the medial septum play a key role for the initiation of theta oscillations. We use patch clamp recordings and two photon imaging in awake animals to monitor the activity of hippocampal neurons with cellular resolution. We found that the activity of pyramidal neurons increased with the activity of medial septal glutamatergic neurons during locomotion. But how are both brain regions functionally coupled? We found that medial septal glutamatergic neurons project onto specific hippocampal interneurons. One function of these interneurons is to inhibit other interneurons in the hippocampus. This mechanism is called disinhibition. It leads to a locomotion speed dependent increase of the activity of pyramidal cells. The higher the movement speed, the lower the inhibition. This mechanism increases the firing of hippocampal neurons during fast locomotion. Taken together, our findings reveal a glutamatergic circuit in the medial septum that controls the initiation and velocity of locomotion. 
It also mediates the premotor initiation of theta oscillations and via hippocampal disinhibition underlies the locomotion speed dependence of the firing rates of hippocampal neurons.